So today I decided since I just finished it that I'm going to give myself a little rev- like a little review on Dishonored Death of the Outsider. And first off, awful. <laughs> Low continuity and honestly really pissed me off for the majority of the game cuz it just it didn't feel like a real Dishonored game. It felt like somebody just took one of the characters and completely ripped it off into their own own twist, own version and I mean, the gameplay was the same, the powers were interesting, and the stealth options were fantastic. I liked the missions, the missions were fun. But the end, and the character, Billy herself, made absolutely no sense. I don't know if maybe her arm is seen is missing to Emily and Dishonored 2 because of the events that went on, because in Dishonored 2, Billy is missing her arm and her eye, but in Death of the Outsider, she has both her arms, both her eyes, and gets those taken away by the Outsider later on. And that just really irks me because it feels, it, 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 it's awful. It just, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't seem like canon to me at all. And I don't know if it is canon. I, I feel like, I feel like it shouldn't be considered canon because it's just, it was the worst game I've played in a long time and I've tried to play get over it. <laughs> but um and I mean I love the game itself, the aesthetic and everything, but the story itself was just so confusing. I was glad to see the outsider back in action and I was glad that I was able to save him from that cult and basically himself. But with him saved, if it's trying to say that Billy found Dodd before Dishonored 2 and that she was never missing her eye or her arm, and shit like that that's just that's just disappointing it's trying to rewrite all those things because well if if this comes after or before dishonored 2 there's so many continuity issues that it just feels rushed and like it shouldn't have even came out and they should have taken a couple years to make sure everything was consistent I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Dishonored and I always have. I even plan on getting a tattoo of the Outsider's Mark someday, but this game felt rushed. It felt it had so many continuity issues that I don't even know where to begin, and the story just doesn't seem to line up with the originals at all. So, if if, if this isn't canon, can someone let me know in the comments so I can stop flipping out over it for one? <laughs> and for two, I the game itself played like any regular Dishonored game, only the story. I wasn't as interested in the story because it I was just too focused on the continuity issues to even focus on the lore or the story or anything really. The only interesting thing that was even introduced into this was the cult itself and the monsters they can turn into and the uh sisters of the Abbey of the Everyman. Those were the only interesting things that even happened in this game. I mean, freeing the outsider was interesting and Dowd's death was interesting, but uh, the the continuity issues pretty much just whooshed all the good stuff out of this game and made it just confusing and upsetting and disappointing. <laughs>